guys, it's Brittany and happy Friday the 13th. Yes, I have my Jason jersey on. I got my machete. I tried to make my hair look all nuts and psychotic. So I was like back combing and just scrunching it up in these weird pigtails. Trying to make my makeup kind of crazy. <laughs> I just want to be psychotic for this video because it's Friday the 13th and I'm living. So I'm constantly fixing my hairs because I'm trying to look psycho. But I'm just like living for my outfit. It's Britty Ween vibes. Oh my god, you guys. Britty Ween is epic this year. I know it's like months away. But guys... I don't want to give away too much. Obviously, you guys will know soon, but something major might be happening to me. A dream. My ultimate, not my ultimate dream. You guys know what my ultimate dream is. My ultimate dream is to have my own ghost show. You guys know that. But this is a dream of mine that I've dreamt about since I was a little girl. And it could become a reality. I'll keep you guys posted. So for this Friday the 13th video, I wanted to tell you guys something so crazy. And as soon as I, as soon as I experienced this, I was like, okay, I just had to gather my thoughts. I talked to a couple of my friends and I was like, I'm gonna make a video about this because I don't know if this is just something that I imagined and it was all in my head or if it actually was real and I was actually talking to a ghost. I wasn't actually talking to her. I'll get to that. It's like telepathically, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this is so psychotic, but I needed to tell you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this. I am somewhat freaked out, but in an amazing way. I am excited. I hope this was real. Let's get right on into this. So basically, I was attacked by a bad spirit, a woman spirit evil maybe not evil pushing evil but she was bad and how did this all start you ask well i had this nightmare but was it really a nightmare or was i actually having this psychic experience girl i don't know but this felt so real and the more i think about it the more i'm just like i think this actually happened i mean obviously i can't prove it this was all in my head but was it a psychic experience? Like, was it a nightmare? Was it a psychic experience? Was I really communicating with this bad spirit? So basically, I was in this nightmare for a few hours, it felt like, and I swear I woke up at least seven times. And you know when you have those nightmares where you wake up and then when you go back to sleep in like 30 seconds or a minute or something, you just fall right back on into this dream or nightmare. And that's what was happening to me. Now, every single time I woke up, and I've mentioned this so many times on my channel, I wake up and I'm paralyzed. I cannot move. Sometimes, you know, it takes me a while, like 10 seconds to figure out where I am, what just happened, what day it is. Sometimes even, what is my name? I know it sounds alarming, it's not really alarming to me because it's been going on for years. It's just kind of how I wake up in the morning. It's really odd. <laughs> but um, yeah, this went on like seven freaking times. And it was weird because every time I woke up, I could not open up my eyes. And this reminds me of my nightmare I had months ago when that demon was staring at me in that house. Like, and I was terrified. And you guys know I don't get that way. I was terrified in this dream and it felt so real. But... I don't know. Hopefully one day I will see that house and maybe that demon. I don't know. But anyways, back to this dream. So every time I woke up, my body felt paralyzed, but my eyes could not open, but I did wake up. And every single time I woke up, I was just like, oh my God, like she's gonna get me, she's gonna get me. And I just knew I was gonna go back into the dream and the same thing was gonna happen all over again. And it's almost like I couldn't prevent myself from staying awake during those seven times, maybe even six times. I think it was six or seven times, but I could not prevent myself from, you know, staying away from that dream. I just had to keep going back into it. I don't know, it was so weird. Like, I don't even, I don't even know how to explain that if, you, if that even <laughs> makes sense. So basically, in this nightmare, there was this woman spirit. There was absolutely no communication, like verbal communication. It was all kind of telepathic but not really telepathic because it's not that I could, I couldn't hear her voice in my head or anything, but I just knew what she wanted me to know. And what this woman wanted me to know was how she 
died. And like I said, there was no verbal communication. It's just I knew from just looking at her, I just knew. I just knew. And she was showing me all of these images. And to describe it, you know, in the best way possible, it was like the ring. You know the tape that you watch and, you know, if you watch it, you're gonna die within seven days. That tape, and it's kind of like flashing all these images, like there's the well, then it's like all the stuff coming out of the person's mouth, and then it's Samora's mother brushing her hair in the mirror, and it's just kind of all these images that a woman jumping off a cliff or about to fall off a cliff. It was just like that. All of these images, constantly. And I just knew as she was showing me these images that she was showing me exactly how she died. And oh my God, guys, it gets so freaking weird and so scary. So, one of these images, okay, actually before I even tell you what the image is, every single time I would wake up, so the first time I was in this dream, like the very first time I saw this woman and stuff, she would come from behind me and just pull me and grab me and bring me inside of a wall, it felt like, and she was always standing behind me, but I could see her in my, in my mind. It's not like she was in front of me, if you know what I'm trying to say. And then all these images would just kind of go around me and flash, and that's how I knew that she was trying to tell me or show me how she died. And like I said, no verbal communication. I don't know why I keep saying that, but no verbal communication. I just knew. And every time I would wake up, like I would see these images, and then I would wake up, but my eyes wouldn't open, but it'd feel like, you know, you're going like this. But my eyes would stay shut, and I would just be paralyzed but scared. I was actually freaked out because this girl felt so bad. Like, I felt like she did not like me at all, but for some reason, she wanted to tell me how she died. It's almost like I couldn't stay there. It was like something was always pulling me out and that's how I would wake up and then when I would go back to sleep, she would grab me again and try, you know, start the whole process all over again. That's how it felt, like something was just kind of yanking me out of this nightmare every single time. One of these images that this girl showed me was a staircase. And if you guys remember, if you watched my whole collab with Jesse and Mandy, there was a woman that was murdered in that house. She was thrown like over the railing and like to the staircase and that's how she died. Like this man purposely did that to kill her. Now the other images that she showed me, they were kind of blurry. I couldn't really make them out, but I remember there was a forest and there's just all these other images. But the one that stood out to me the most was the staircase. And it's just, I knew that this girl was bad. She had bad intentions, but for some reason, like I've been saying, she wanted to tell me or she wanted me to know how she died. But the weird thing is, I still don't know how she died exactly. All I know is that that is what she wanted me to find out. Like she was trying to show me how she died. But it just, I don't know how she died. It's just what I'm assuming from the staircase is that she was thrown over because of the inn at the falls and that's like the whole story there. So maybe it was my mind that created this whole horror movie in my head because I knew what happened at that house. You know what I mean? And it was such a dark presence there. Or since apparently spirits latch themselves onto me like all the time, I apparently have a whole entourage behind me, all around me according to the psychic that I went to. My hair is not psycho enough. So I was thinking maybe this woman latched herself onto me and maybe she was actually a bad spirit and that was part of the negative energy that I was feeling at the house. I don't know. Now if this woman is actually real and she's latched herself onto me and she was showing me in a dream, you know, she was just like, you know, I'm here, I'm bad, I don't like you, you better watch out, like you summoned me kind of thing. If she latched herself onto me, which I, I hope she did, like I really hope she did, but you want to hear something really weird. This happened, what, a few days before I had the dream? I will show you a tweet that I tweeted. I was walking down the stairs, just normally, you know, just walking down the stairs, and I fell hard. And there was no reason for me to fall. And I tweeted about it, so I will insert my tweet right here. first thing that I thought when I hit the bottom of the stairs was, 
Oh my god, I hope that was something paranormal because you guys know I want to be pushed, I want to be dragged, I want to be thrown up against a wall, I want to be pushed out of a window, anything that extreme, I want it. I want it all. Like I just, I want it. <laughs> so that was my first thought and that's how I know that I am crazy because <laughs> I can't believe it. I felt like I fell down the stairs hard and it hurt my butt just like it just it got even flatter than it already is but i was laughing about it i was like oh my god like i low-key hope that was something paranormal and that's how i know i'm crazy because that's the first thing that came to my head i was hoping it was paranormal so after having this dream and seeing the staircase and this woman and knowing what happened at the house how this woman was murdered i was starting to question was i really pushed by this woman did she push me down those stairs? Because when I was going down those stairs, those stairs, there was no reason for me to fall. Absolutely no reason. And I fell forward like somebody pushed me. No, I did not feel hands on me or felt like I was pushed. But it's just so weird and I fell so hard. So if this woman is real, <laughs> I think a lot of people would have to be like, girl, you are losing it. I just think the timing, how this happened before my dream. Was she trying to get my attention? And since I feel like she is bad, like she is not nice at all. She, if she's latched herself onto me, she doesn't want to be my friend. That's for sure. She does not want to be my friend. So it makes sense why she would push me down the stairs because she died falling down the stairs. She was like thrown and she just, you know, I wasn't thrown, but I fell hard, like hard. So it's making me wonder. Who knows? It's just a weird coincidence. You know what I mean? But this nightmare stuck with me all day. So the next day, I remember that I was walking down those stairs again. And I kid you not, I felt this woman behind me. Like uh, the way that she looked, and this is so terrifying. She looked like the Ringu version of Samara Morgan. The Ringu version. She is even more terrifying than Samara Morgan from The Ring. If you guys have not seen Ringu, it is 10 times scarier than The Ring. Samara Morgan is like seven feet tall. Her eyes are enormous. She was like beaten into the well, not just like thrown into the well. She was like beaten into the well. You know, this movie is a lot more violent <laughs> than the ring but that is what this woman looks like so there you go it could have been just this crazy nightmare you know imagining the ring goo girl and she's like in my head now but this is what this girl looks like white dress long black hair she's like seven feet tall so i wanted to finish when i was walking down the stairs and it was probably like one in the morning or something I felt this woman behind me like I just felt her face like she was standing right here and just following me down the stairs and I was holding on to the railing really tightly just like you know I don't know but then at the same time I wanted to get pushed sorry I'm trying to still like look really psycho and stuff but I swear somebody was going down those stairs with me and they were on my right shoulder like her head was right here and she just followed me down since I started filming in front of the set again after the end of the falls I feel like I am constantly being watched. I hear all of these sounds as you guys have been seeing in my past videos. It started with the Chucky doll. It just sounded, there was a sound and I thought it was rain. It was so weird. It sounded like it came right there and Chucky, like, let me get it. He is sitting right here. Here's Chucky. I have all of my costumes, like costume racks for Brittany Wien and stuff is all over. Like, where I film, it looks like Universal Studios um, prop house. That's exactly how it looks. I have all of my props, all of my costumes all over here. Like my sets are all over here. Like, and I just heard another sound. I don't even know. I just feel like I'm going crazy. But I, when I was filming, even a couple nights after this nightmare I had, if it was a nightmare or if it was real, I thought there was actually someone hiding in between my costumes my costume rack like there was an actual I don't know if it was a person or if it was an apparition that I was feeling but I felt like somebody was watching me over there and to be honest I mean you guys know I am way more freaked out by humans 
ghosts do not freak me out but humans oh my god humans scare me to death just i'm scared of people and i really thought somebody was standing there and i felt threatened i haven't seen her in a nightmare since so guys i hope you liked this friday the 13th video sorry i'm still trying to make my hair look all psychotic and stuff but i mean i just thought i would share this with you guys it's so weird it could just be something that you know, it's just a nightmare I had and then it just kind of stuck with me because it was so weird. But just the fact that she was showing me these images and it was just like the ring, but then she looks like the girl from Ringu. You know what I mean? But then she showed me a staircase and there was something about that staircase. I still don't know exactly how she died, but like I said, she was trying to show me how she died. Like she wanted me to know how she died and it's almost like she was mad at me about it. I didn't kill her, obviously. I had nothing to do with her death, but I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's just negative, this woman. She's negative. There's nothing nice about her and the way she was grabbing me and like pulling me behind a wall, you know? It was just very aggressive. Like she just, I don't know. You know when you just don't like somebody, but you, like you would never harm them. You just don't like it. It's almost, well, maybe she wants to harm me. I don't know. Maybe she's the one that made my lips explode. I don't know maybe she's the one that pushed me down the stairs i just if i really did get pushed down the stairs because like i didn't feel it like i've said to you guys before but i fell and then i tweeted about it and the first thought was i hope that was something paranormal and now i'm just really starting to think was it something paranormal because there was just no reason for me to fall down the stairs and i hurt my foot and it feels somewhat broken but like i'm still walking on it and stuff maybe i should go see a doctor about that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching let me know down below what you think i mean it's weird i mean i was it all a nightmare it could have been but um Loki, I'm hoping it wasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Today's shout out goes to Dam. <laughs> Just Dam. Thank you so much for watching my videos. You are so awesome. And if you want a chance at a shout out in my next video, all you gotta do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Of course, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every single time that I upload and comment down below. I'm a brethren or do the hashtag brethrens or something with brethren and I pick at random and you could be next. As always guys, you rock my world and the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Hashtag team, pretty 44. Hashtag for brother friends. Hey. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I'm super excited for my three teeth concert on Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> super excited. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.